right. How excited are you to get on the field with this bunch and see what they're made of? Uh, can't wait. You know, um, it's wild, right? In some ways, uh, December was just here, and in some ways, it feels like forever ago. Um, but this this group um, is, I think, it's a it's a pretty talented group. Um, we had a great meeting yesterday. It's a it, it's probably one of the best collections um, in my career I've had of um, f freshmen, kind of sophomore juniors group, and then and then a, a, an older group. And uh, we talked yesterday a lot about um, we're all here to help us win. And freshmen don't act like freshmen. Come in and ready to compete. Older kids um, help and coach and lead and teach the younger kids. And uh, we're here to be Florida State soccer. How short-handed will you be the first month? Well, we uh, for the next three weeks, we're in pretty good shape. Um, have pretty much everybody. We have uh, Laura Dantas, our Brazilian, uh, leaves today to go for 10 days with Brazil. Um, and then she'll be back before our first game. And then I think we'll lose everybody right around the 20th or 22nd before our Rice game. And then at that point, we'll be down to including goalkeepers, um, healthy about 15, 16. Um, so we'll be, we'll be pretty thin for about, you know, could be three weeks, could be four to five weeks. So um, we're very lucky. We have Alora Sullivan who's our athletic trainer and, and Elise Angelis is our strength coach. And um, our job is always to protect our players, right? And so that uh, they don't get hurt and so that uh, they can be at their best. And um, we told the team yesterday, we have to protect the players that are gonna be here <laughs> for the whole season. And we have to protect the ones that are getting ready to go off to the World Cup. Right, because we want them to have amazing experiences and hopefully compete for gold medals. Um, so it's all about being intelligent and protecting, and so we're putting our kids in a, in a place where we can be successful. Obviously, you haven't seen them on the field as much as you will over the coming weeks, but how is this team going to be different than the one we saw last season? I think um, from a talent standpoint, I like to think that we can be pretty good um, this fall. Um, I think the biggest difference is just the collection of older players. I mean, we, we had a, a uh, we started, I think, 10 seniors and fifth years last year, right? And there's no price, right? You can't put a price on just maturity, experience, all of that, right? And so that's what that team had. And it had talent and it had determination. I think we have talent. We've got to make sure, and we talked yesterday about, you know, sometimes when you're a young player, freshman or sophomore, you don't play with desperation that you do as a junior or senior or fifth year senior because you don't really feel your clock ticking. So we talked to the freshmen and we opened up about it. So you, you got you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta to try to play like this is your only fall here, right? And the truth is now, you know, in, in our sport, kids do leave after one year, right? Or after two years. So I do think in, in that way, it helps us. Everybody's playing for their we're playing for our team or we're playing for FSU, but they're also playing, these kids come here because they want to be pros. And whether that is after one semester here, after three semesters, five semesters, whatever the case may be. So I think we have a pretty mature team. They're just younger than last year's team. How do you build that sense of urgency? Uh, it starts with um, just coaching, honestly, and, and the details, right? The standard, the expectations, right? Everything has to be good. And when it's not, we're obviously not going to get on them, and we talked about that, but we have to coach them at a high level and expect a lot from them, and our older players have to expect a lot from themselves and everybody, and it's always about the standard and trying to be great, and we're getting ready to go in our, our what is our classroom, and we literally said this three minutes ago as a coaching staff, we are, we are stewards of this program, right? Uh, we as coaches are here right now, players are here right now, and we walked into, when we got here two years ago, that video room is what they call the classroom, right? And I just said to my staff, I don't know who named it the classroom. I don't know if it was Mark Corian, Lonnie Alameda, I don't know, but it's the classroom. And what do you do in a classroom? You learn, right? And you try and become more intelligent so that you're more mature and then you can go out and be better. And we need to keep teaching and learning um, and expect a lot from them. The, the preseason seems really short to some extent. So, I mean, how important is the summer, the ladies working on their own to hit the ground running? Always, right? And uh, it's got to be, and I don't know whether it is or not, but I'd be shocked if there's a shorter preseason 
for a college sport, right? Uh, 16 days of practice and the days, as we told our team yesterday, the days of two a days are over, right? It is, and I've already used the word today with you guys, it's, it's about protecting them, right? Pr protecting them physically, protecting them mentally so that they can go be great when they need to be great. Um, so we just had our fitness testing this morning and they did amazing, right? Which means they've done job number one, which is preparing. Right, and so now we can go out and we can just practice and focus on the soccer stuff. We don't have to worry about getting them to a place where they can meet the demands of the game. So we have to put in a lot of you know tactical stuff and things like that over the next couple of weeks. Protect them, be intelligent about their their kind of player loads and how much we're asking of them, um, and then uh, hopefully be ready on August fifteenth. How has recruiting maybe evolved from the time you got here? Um, Hey, I'm the new guy, but an established powerhouse too. Hey, I'm now the third year guy, an established mm -hmm. powerhouse, and we just won a national title. And mm -hmm. how has maybe recruiting changed? Or yeah, I mean, it's it's uh, it's obviously helped to win, right? Because two years ago, people were either wondering if we could still be good, or people were hoping we couldn't be good, <laughs> um, or maybe some people had some confidence that we could be good, and. We've obviously had two pretty successful seasons. And so I don't know that it's on the radar of people anymore to wonder what's Florida State soccer going to be. I think they now see that we've been able to continue Mark's legacy, right? But every day is a, a challenge and we fight every day to get to the College Cup and, and win another national champion and that's the standard here. But we have, um, we have a really good recruiting class right now here. Um, we have good recruits committed for 25. Recruiting is, I would say, I, I don't know, but a lot easier, but our conversations are easier than they were two years ago. Trying to convince a kid, hey, I think we can be good, right? Versus telling them, hey, we've been pretty good and we're gonna continue it. Big difference.